What's going on guys and welcome to a video where I'm going to be talking about my new Logitech G29. Yes, I talked about this that I was getting a wheel a couple of uh, videos ago and um, now I have it. It arrived today um, and yeah, I really love it. This video, I'm basically just driving. Uh, this is really my first time properly driving with the wheel. Um, I basically uh, drove around with a wheel, got the settings somewhere near where I wanted them and um, yeah, drove drove around the track a little bit and then I thought right I think I'm ready now and I drove with the recording and everything going um, and I'm pretty damn happy with it. Um, the reason I got a Logitech G29 over other wheels is because um, really it's one of the cheaper options which is still a very very good wheel it cost me three hundred and seventy five dollars australian they're usually about five hundred dollars australian um, but it was on sale uh, basically at a couple of places so i thought you know what i've been wanting a wheel for quite a while now so i'm going to get one um, in this video i am not exactly a great driver with the wheel um, it's it's a very weird to get used to I've never properly driven with a race. I've never used a racing wheel on a console before. I mean, I've used racing wheels at you know like arcade games and stuff where you have to use a wheel. I've done that, but I haven't actually properly used a race wheel at all on a console before. So it is going to take a little bit to get used to. Um, also, in this video, I'm driving in automatic. Um, I've always drived automatic with a controller because I just I can't get my fingers to you know do manual with a controller. It just I just can't do it. It's really really weird. I don't like it so I always drive automatic, however with this wheel I am hopefully going to be driving manual, um, technically I guess it's semi-automatic with the uh, the flappy paddles because on the Logitech G29 you get flappy paddles with the actual wheel, if you want to have a proper manual you know, with clutch car then um, you have to buy the hate shifter which is about another $70, I didn't bother getting it, um, I haven't bothered getting it yet so um, I may, I probably will get that in the future sometime fairly soon but for now I am going to stick with the flappy paddles but um yeah what are my what are my thoughts at the moment after just using it a little bit um, on the Logitech G29 it's good it is very very good I like it I'm very glad I got one um, like I said I could have gone for like a Thrustmaster was it like T300 RS or S or whatever it's called I don't know there's all these Thrustmasters and stuff which are actually better quality ones but they cost quite a lot more and I didn't want to spend too too much on a wheel so I decided to go with the Logitech because um, it works on PS4 it also works on PS3 which is pretty good for Gran Turismo and I'm pretty sure it also works on PC um, there's on the actual thing there's a couple of buttons uh, there's PS4 button and there's PS3 button there isn't anything for PC so I don't know how that works but I'm fairly sure it does work for PC um, and yeah I'm gonna be using this thing a hell of a lot most of my videos uh, are probably, well, which have wheel support, like Project Cars, The Crew I'm pretty sure it does, um, Drive Club also I'm pretty sure has wheel support, I'm going to be doing videos on those with this wheel because it is awesome. Um, as for a wheel cam, I'm not really sure, tell me what you guys think, do you want a wheel cam? The wheel cam that I've got in this video, you can just see it in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Um, it's not very good quality because I don't have a proper awesome high definition GoPro or anything. I've just got a little camera that I've had for about seven years, seven or eight years now. So it's not the best camera in the world. Um, I will be honest. Um, it actually doesn't. When I import it onto Sony Vegas, the software that I use to edit my videos, it has black lines down the side uh, because it doesn't do the full 1080p or even 720p um, display, which is not great. Um, so yeah, that's the only annoying thing with that. I could do wheel cams with it because with the wheel cam, as you can see in this video, I have managed to get rid of the black lines, but um, yeah, I don't really know. Tell me what you guys think. I personally don't think I'm really going to bother with a wheel cam. Um, and because it's on like the side here, because I can't actually, I wanted to have it, the wheel, uh, the camera actually facing the wheel, the front of the wheel. Um, but I can't really do that. I can't get my camera around there. So I'm going to have to think about what I do. Maybe I'll do, I'll probably do some other videos with a wheel cam, but most of the time I think I will just keep the wheel cam off. Um, and yeah, it, it should just be pretty awesome. So yeah, do I suggest people get a Logitech G29 if you're looking for a wheel? I mean, if you're looking for a wheel then, sure, I guess. Um, I can't really say much because I haven't used any others and I'm only getting this one started, so I don't know everything about it yet. But um, 
yeah, it's, it's a pretty good wheel. I'm happy with it. I'm going to have a lot of fun with it, and hopefully that should show in some videos. So anyway, that, guys, that is it. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, please go ahead, like, and subscribe. Comment what other videos you want to see, and I'll see you guys in the next video.